everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Smuggler in the Blind, episode 13. Are you waiting for me? No? You're not going to wait for me to sort of get in a group to do this flashpoint? No? Well, okay then. So! I always say so at the beginning of my episodes. So! We are going to be doing Tarao 5 and Maelstrom Prison on Hallow because it's part of the achievement for the Dark vs. Light event. And then I'll do the same on um, Staria for Boarding Party and the Foundry, even though we don't need to do it because I would have already got the achievement. But I, I, I feel like I can't just do Terrell 5 and Maelstrom Prison and not do Boarding Party and the Foundry because they're, they're good flashpoints. They're really good flashpoints. And if you haven't seen previous videos of me doing these flashpoints, you'll understand why I am starting to lose my voice. <clears throat> there we go. First of all, we need to speak to the security officer. Minnick. You're here for the big mission, aren't you? The Admiral said to expect people like you. Please proceed into the situation room. Good luck. That's just what he sounds like. Hello, Yoda. Sorry. Oteg. Sorry, I, I get you mixed up all the time. Welcome, my friend. I appreciate you coming all this way. Oh, do forgive me for not shaking hands. My hospitality exceeds my reach. <laughs> I can kneel down. Before we begin, I'll ask that you keep an open mind to what you're about to hear. The source of my information is, um, unconventional. I'm not sure I want to hear the rest of this. Unconventional does not mean unreliable. Let go of your prejudices. You are not a Jedi, but you can still experience the Force's mysteries. With my help. Oh, yeah, of course. It's going to be interesting Concentrate knowing that. Concentrate with me. Focus your mind. Feel the force around us. Hear its echoes. Knowing that he's not a force-sensitive person. Well, he could be slightly. Who knows? I didn't come here to stand in a circle and chant nonsense. Control your emotions. Release your fear. Then you will see. Fine. I swear you've got more green. She is here. A Jedi without physical form. Her body is long dead, but her wisdom, her essence, lives on. The dead shouldn't be able to speak, much less appear. And yet she does. Her death must have been a terrible thing. The darkness will consume all it touches. Stars will burn black. Ashes raining on lifeless worlds. Everything ends. Lovely. The prisoner holds the darkness at bay. Lost inside it for 300 years. His strength will fail. Then, he will become the darkness. I promise the prisoner will be freed, no matter what it takes. The bond weakens, my friend. I'll take things from here. Does Halo suddenly believe in all of this now that he's seen a ghost? He's like, I promise! In the blind, seriously. She's told me many things. Revealed the existence of an Imperial prison in the constantly shifting Maelstrom Nebula, and a way to get there. The only way to navigate the Maelstrom is using a Gree computer hidden at an Imperial fortress. We need that computer to free the Jedi prisoner. What's a Gree, and how are its computers so special? Gree are an ancient civilization rarely seen anymore. How the Empire obtained their technology is a mystery. Rarely the seen. The focus we're invading is on the planet Taral V, enemy territory protected by Imperial warships. Too many to fight. But we have a captured Imperial shuttle that can sneak past the sentries. It's waiting for you in the hangar. You can fill me in on the rest while we travel. There's no time to waste. Our fleet will hide at the system's edge, so I can monitor your mission and guide you. If something goes wrong, We'll come running. Now go to the shuttle, my friend. 
and may the force be with you. Okay, the Gree, who are very rarely seen, except, you know, every month, because they come down to Ilum every month, so, rarely seen, rarely seen, yes, yes. Okay, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Uh, I actually don't know, where, where am I supposed to be going? Downstairs? I guess so. Uh, to Route 5 is, is it this way? Draw five is this way. How lovely. Do I, do I speak to you? No, because oh, this is automatically doing it in solo mode. Is it? Uh, guess so. Okay, in we go. In we go to Tarau Five, also known as Dromund Cass. Well, it's, it's not really, but I, for some for some strange reason. I said this before. Drow 5 looks exactly like Droman Cast. I imagine this flashpoint was meant well to be. Done. You've successfully infiltrated Taral 5. Yay! The Imperials think you're just another shuttle bringing supplies. I'm transmitting coordinates to an Imperial security outpost. Take control there and contact me from the fortress's network. We'll handle the rest. Something tells me that they Bioware was meant to have this as a flashpoint to Droman Cast. But things kind of changed because it's not the map. It doesn't look like Droman Cass on the map, um, unless it's a different part of Droman Cass secretly. But no, this is actually Tarau Five, even though they look exactly the same. Oh, Droid! Hello, buddy. Hello. Are you ready for some fun? I certainly am. What is that? Uh oh! Why have they burned everything? You're killing the wildlife. Oh, I can get on my mount. Oh, well, that is just happy and dandy. I'm going to see if I can avoid... Imperial patrol up ahead. Discourage them from warning the outpost. Well, maybe I just want to actually uh, walk on by, if you don't mind. I don't actually need to kill them. So, you know, bye. Whoa, 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 whoa. What on earth is going on? Stop trying to kill me. Why are you trying to kill me? Seriously. I'm trying to avoid as many as I can and my screen is on fire. You've had enough. Your screen is on fire. Or well, my screen's on fire, I should say. Woo! I avoided all of them. You deal with them. Yes, thank you. Alright, maybe not. Wow, I've avoided all of these so far. How am I doing this? Um, um, run, 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 run before I get seen. And I made it. Wow. You know, I could have got a lot of experience from killing all of those, but nah, nah, I'll get experience in the missions. How much experience will I get for doing the mission? 28,000. I believe that'll get me to level 30. Uh, it will indeed. And then, of course, there's, there's this mission as well. Um, but I think this just carries on. So, you know, i got to do both flashpoints before I complete that mission. So anyway, um, I wonder how long it's going to last until I have to actually start killing people. Probably now. Yeah, there we go. I knew it wasn't going to last long. And of course they upscale your level as well, so you're never too low leveled. Though it really helps to be the right level because then you get a whole bunch of abilities for it. Oh, is this a boss battle? Oh, it is. Hence the uh, Koto stations. Alright. Oh wait, I can use her at the moment as well. Uh, yes, please. Oh, uh, that's where my... Uh, bar is. That's why I can never see it. I'm always wondering, where is my action bar? Where it tells me um, how, how fast my abilities are generating. But it's underneath my heroic moment bar. That's handy. There you go. You're, you're dead. Um, ooh, a common data crystal. Thank you very much. Let me just go and get the, uh, the bar. Cast bar. That's what it's called. Where should we move it to? Um... Because I don't want to put it there, because then my buffs will be in the way. I could put it there, actually. Yeah. Oh, but let's make it make sure it's directly in the middle. Actually, we need. To, let's do snap to grid. Snap to grid. Where are you? Snap to UI grid. Thank you. I think that's sort of centerized now. Uh, no, no, I said save. I press save. Thank you. Away we go. You enjoy fighting them? Just gonna walk on by. Don't mind me. I don't care about the bonus mission right now. Just want to get this flashpoint over and done with. So I can get the achievement. Oh, hi! 
Ah, look at that. That's absolutely perfect. It's just above it as well. Well, I might as well start using my heroic moment for people. Oh, level 30. Level 30? Bloody hell, how much experience am I getting from these enemies? 5,000, 7,000, 8,000, 5,000. Wow, okay then. I'm getting a lot of experience. Do I have any new abilities? I should probably get off the road if there's a patrol coming. No, there's not. That's fine. I should probably... Oh, I've already got an experience boost up as well. That's fine. Uh, surrender. Puts up the front of surrender, instantly lowering your threat, but... Right. Do I put like a... Do I put up a little white flag? Okay. What's this thing? Is this another bonus mission? Um, don't know. Oh, it is. But I've probably missed like... Five already, so I'm probably not going to be doing that one either. We're almost to the security outpost. I'll stop chattering so you can focus on taking control and accessing their network. Ah, oh, thank you. You know, it's, it's almost like they can hear us, you know, because that's why you're going to stop talking. Oteg, they can't hear you. You can continue talking. And another reason why I'm doing these flashpoints is that it's great to get the level up. So by the by, the end of these two flashpoints. Hopefully, I could be level 32, which is just the right level for the next planet. I know, right? To scavenge that. Yeah. I always forget I've got my crew skills as well. Uh, oh, I haven't really done much on... Yeah. See, I want to have them doing stuff as I'm doing this flashpoint. But it'll annoy me to have like it pop up all the time while I'm recording a video. So that's why I'm not gonna. Are you another boss? I believe you are. Who goes there? Hello! Who goes there? Ripper! Get him, boy! Uh-oh. Hey, Ripper! Are you from Ripper Street? I surrender! I surrender! Oh, well, that did absolutely nothing. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you're going to attack the droid now. That's cool. But will I get my aggro all the way back up again? Probably. Yep, I've got my aggro back up. Put up a better fight. Have you? Well... I've seen um, Jowers put up a better fight. Uh, I'm not very good with insults, as you know. Say goodbye to your life, Ripper. Bye bye. Go back to Ripper Street where you belong. Uh, Captain Shiver is enraged at the death of an ally. <gasps> oh no! You're enraged! What's that gonna do? Jack S. Neither do I. So I hope you enjoy hell. So in the Star Wars universe, it may, me mentioning hell right there, is there some sort of hell? So, you know, you, you've got to think about it at the end of um, episode 6, where Darth Vader died. Spoilers. If you haven't seen episode 6 of Star Wars, then, you know, spoilers. Darth Vader died. Oh, also, Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father. <gasps> I know, right? Where Darth Vader died and became a force apparition like Obi-Wan and uh, Yoda. But that's because he apparently came back to the light. So when the Emperor died, if he has died, who knows, he may come back in like episode 8. We don't know. We'll have to find that out. Did he go to some sort of hell? Is there some sort of hell for like Sith? I don't know. Somebody will no doubt tell me. Or not, because no one really watches my episodes anymore. Oh, hello. Um, do I need to use this? Do I? Okay. I need to turn my chat off. Outstanding. You've given us access to the Empire's communications. Are you there, my friend? Ah. Uh, what do you need? Our data slices are quietly shutting down the Empire's security grid. The enemy's in for an unpleasant surprise. Aha. The time for subtlety is almost over. Make your way carefully to the fortress, but once you arrive, strike quickly and hard. Maybe I want to strike slowly and soft. How fast will those ships in orbit respond once they hear what's happening at the fortress? The sentry ships aren't prepared for a ground invasion. They shouldn't be a factor. I'm sending coordinates to the fortress. The Grey computer is amazingly compact. You'll have no trouble carrying it out. I'll keep quiet from here on. Unless it's an emergency. Oh, take out. Okay, override the security door. The security door is... Look, look, look how fast your, your icon goes. Look at that. 
Whee! It's like a little bug. Like a little cockroach or something. <laughs> Humans gonna squash me! Okay, can I sneak past all of you? I, uh, 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 uh. Let me climb up here. That way, I'm guaranteed to sneak past all of you. Oh, I've attracted their attention, have I? Oh, I've attracted the attention of them as well. Oh dear, well, the droid's suffering, uh, fighting all of them on, on its own. And I'm having to fight these on our own. Okay, uh, we should be fine. As long as my droid doesn't die. Well, the droid could certainly handle itself. Definitely. And I got stuff to scavenge as well. Even better. A rain of fire is coming. The scarred man's hatred burns everything. Uh, okay. I mean, we've already had the rain of fire, kind of. I mean, did you not see the fire that was raining down on me as I got to the planet? Yeah. Oh, hello. How are you guys doing? You alright? Yeah, there's quite a lot of you here. I might as well use this. Ha 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 ha. Wow, look at that. They all just passed out. I know they died. Oh, you're like, wow, that's actually, that actually never happens. That literally never happens when I kill somebody and then more enemies are all like, what was that? Let's go investigate. Oh, 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 gotta do this. This is fun. Bye! <laughs> I remember doing that in my uh, stream one time. It was absolutely hilarious. It still is. And do you want to know the best thing? We get to do it again! Watch this. And say goodbye to your lives! Bye bye! <laughs> oh, it's amazing. I'm out of energy. Um, yeah, it's very difficult to regenerate energy on my smuggler. I mean, I, I could use Cool Head, which I did, um, but it didn't help too much. Um, I'm trying to scavenge this. Thank you. I scavenged one earlier on, but it kind of just disappeared on me, and I got nothing from it. Kind of annoyed me. Bye! Whoa, you nearly fell. Oh, did I actually kill all three of you with that one blast? Oh, cool. Yes, come on. Come on down. Come on, you know you want to. Come on. Come on, boy. Be a good boy. Well, you could be a girl for all I know. I don't know. And... Bam. I mean, it didn't kill ya. Oh, I should have... Oh, I should have waited and... Oh god, that's annoying. Well, I could just use sweeping blast and it'll kill all of you anyway. That's just as satisfying. You have a debt to settle. It will be paid in blood. But I kind of want my blood, thanks. Well, why do I need to pay in blood? Uh, how many? How many pints? Better not be much. I do need blood to live, you know. Good evening, Doctor Zaron. I don't know where I was going with that, but heroic moment nonetheless. Oh, hi, whatever you are. Don't mind if I uh, kill you all, do you? You all will die nonetheless. Need to do that. Look at the fire. I'm going to do this because it's going to kill you all. Oh, it's counting towards the bonus mission as well. Not that it's really needed, but hey ho. To be honest, I might as well even go back outside, kill four more beasts, and I'll get some experience. I might as well. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, you're, that was an easy fight. I'll take the commentator crystal, thanks. Oh, what else did I pick up? Uh, heavy armor for when I'm level 31, and I can't even use her heavy armor anyway. <sighs> you know, this music always brings back memories. This is the episode 1 music, if you don't remember, Star Wars The Phantom Menace. And it always, it doesn't remind me of the movie. It more so reminds me of the PS1 game. I used to play the PS1 game all the time. I'm literally going here just to see if there's anything over here, but there's not. I used to play the PS1 game all the time when I was over at my grand's house when she was alive. And oh god, it was absolutely bliss. I'm actually going to kill you guys because I just want the uh, scavenging because why not? Um, but yes, oh god, it was an amazing game. Give me your medal. Oh, I need to pick up the loot first, then give me your medal. Pedal to the medal. Again, I have no idea where I'm going with all of this. Oh, I was hoping I could just sort of walk through that, but I can't. Do I kill the droid? Uh, nah, let's just walk on by. Although, mm, uh, I was going to say, if that was fire, I probably would have blown it up, but it's not. But you, you're still not. Well, you might as well all choke anyway. You seem like easy kills. Why the hell not? I love it so much, and I'm level 31. Oh, okay then. 
Thank you! Wait, do I have any? And evil will both die in flames. You are very comforting. Do you know that? Very, very comforting. Thank you so much for your wise words. Oh, another boss. PD44. Do you have a PDA for PVD44? Oh, you could talk as well. Usually big droids like you can't talk. Target appears to be non -sentient. What do you mean non-sentient? I'm as sentient as they come. Poor Corso. Being battered there. Ugh. In 12 seconds I can use heroic moment and I can kill this droid a lot quicker than before. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Please stop calling me non-sentient. There we go. And, uh, oh god, I'm going to be battered as well. Ow. There we go, I'll get out of it now. Unless by non-sentient you mean this droid here, then yes, he's as non-sentient as they come. Target appears to be non-sentient. Okay, we, we, we get it. We, we get it. Target appears to be non-sentient. Fair enough. Thank you. Thank you for telling us. Consider yourself a dead droid. Hopefully I get to scavenge you. Do I get to scavenge you? Please. Yay! What sort of stuff do I get from scavenging you? Did I get anything good? Oh. At least my scavenging is now level 33! Woo! I've still got all that way to go yet? Oh my word, this is taking forever. Oh well, let's do the terminal. You on my doorstep. Fortune has always favoured me. Hi! I've followed your growing infamy since our last meeting. You've made a name for yourself among the galaxy's mongrels. Congratulations, I suppose. Sadly, your victories end here. My fleet is about to bombard your position from orbit. Damn it, I really should have done the Esselus, shouldn't I? Because he's in the Esselus as well, isn't he? Who the blazes are you? What's got you angry enough to blow up your own fortress? Grand Moff Rikus Kilran. We sparred during the Esselus incident. No, I we didn't. I was the Twi'lek ambassador, Vinasara. You interfered. No, I didn't. It's been a pleasure catching up, but you won't escape this time. It's your tape. Do you read me? I monitored that transmission. My fleet is moving to intercept the bombardment. I'll do my best to keep the Grand Moff busy, but you need to hurry. Find that green computer and get out of there. I'm gonna tell you now, I did not do the S list on this character. I promise you this. Yeah, for some reason, the game thinks I did. Unless it's just the default thing. But, you know. I don't know. The, the... Oh well! Hey droids! Mind if I uh, blow you up? Thank you. Ah, I love it when I can get my scavenging up as I'm doing the flashpoint. Hopefully I can do it again in the next flashpoint. Oh, hi, Imperial Scientist. I could kill you, but I've not got a heart of stone. Yes, I do. I'm going to kill you. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Where am I going then? This way? Yes. Can I just sort of walk on by? I can. Thank you. Oh, I can't walk on by with you guys. Oh well, I can do that though. Shoot this. And you can all choke to death. Oh, and I love how I never did jungle infiltration bonus one. Oh well. I'm nearly level, I'm like halfway through to level 32. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm going to do it by the time I get to the end of this corridor. By the end of like, to Dr. Who? Narem's laboratory. So, anything up here which is worth taking? Um, no. Unless, are there... What's in the Koto tanks? Nothing. Okay, no point then. I was going to say, if there were some jungle creatures, I would happily kill them. But they're not. Unless they are. Let's find out, actually. Let's see if anything comes up. Oh, yes! Yeah! There we go! I was right! So I can actually complete a bonus mission. Ah, that's just correct. Oh. Oh, okay. Only three came out. I still need one more. Fine. Maybe we'll get lucky and find another one, but probably not. Can I just run past ya? Yeah, bye! Uh, gotta love that. And say goodbye to your lives. 
<laughs> so fun. Wait, hold on. Where's the droid? Oh, say, where's the droid? You're right there. That's fine. Uh, 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 uh nothing that way. Nothing that way. All right. I want one more, one, one more jungle thing. Can you give me one more jungle thing, please? Please. Wait, is that you, dear Bam? Like the very, like the person you would fight in, uh, not the essence, the other one. Um, oh god, what's the other one? Black Talon. Looks like you, dear Bam. Ah, oh, I got nothing to blow you up with. Well, I guess I'll just have to use my uh, sweeping gunfire. I was gonna say force sweep then, but it's sweeping gunfire. Cool. You're dead now. Do I go upstairs or do I? I don't know. That's a Sith dominator. I guess uh, no. I go through here. All right then. Scavenging is level 49. What level was it when I first started this flashpoint? I have no idea. Sweeping gunfire. Oh, well, that's too. Oh. Uh. Probably won't work too much against the uh, Sith Dominators, but hey, I got you down to like 80%. Are we there yet? Is this the last room? It is. Oh, it opened for me. How lovely. Hello, General Edekar. They've breached the main door. Get ready, men. Uh, gonna drop this. Hopefully, this will attack all. Uh, just misses these two. That's a bugger. Let's drop it down again. Oh, well, the back two are already dead, so. Alright then, I'll just, uh,. Just do that then, uh, and kill that one, and we're done. And heroic moment. Thank you very much. Take them down. How about no? Uh oh, droids. Oh no, I've no longer got rest experience. Ah, oh, well, like I said, we should get to level 32, probably by the time we kill this guy. To be honest, he'll probably give a bunch of experience for being a boss. Um, I don't know how true that'll be, but you know. This is my battlefield scum. You only leave it in a bag. Uh, hopefully not. I, 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 I'd hope I would uh, be leaving it in a more respectable way. But you are the Sith. Okay, and we'll just heroic moment the heck out of you. Flamethrower, Legacy Project, Legacy Force Lightning, Does and level matter. 32. Killan's bringing the walls down. Is he uh. now? Uh, 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 uh. Could you imagine a voice actor having to do that in the actual, uh... Because Seth, what you guys would attack me then. In the actual uh, voice acting move. <coughs> Republic butchers, you've invaded a sovereign imperial world, slaughtered dozens of innocents to what? Steal our research? This facility is on a mission of peace. We're charting the Maelstrom Nebula for the good of all. You have warships in orbit and battalions on the surface. If this is your version of a peace mission, you're doing it wrong. We knew once you discovered our research you'd attempt to steal it, and here you are. When the rest of the galaxy hears of this unprovoked assault, the Republic's evil will finally be exposed. What about I your evil? I know who you are, but I know what you serve. A campaign to eradicate the Empire. Sorry, but only evil people speak like, ha! <laughs> Save your accusations. Gree technology isn't easy to come by. Where did the Empire find it? Darth Malgus obtained the computer during an expedition to the Outer Rim. I don't know more than that, and I don't care. You're condemning hundreds of civilian science vessels exploring the Maelstrom Nebula. Electromagnetic radiation alters the safe navigation routes every moment. Without precise and timely coordinates from the Gree computer, thousands of good people, innocent scientists, will be trapped there forever. There are no good or innocent people in the Empire. Your scientist friends work for the Emperor, just like you. Those crews don't have supplies to last more than a few weeks. They'll starve to death. I won't let you kill them. Um... You should have taken no for an answer. I'm sure the f that fool won't really kill you, but whatever. Corso doesn't like me what I just done. Oh well. Spies called in the blind people. Repeat, come in. My fleet's taking heavy losses, and the fortress defenses are crumbling. There's no more time. Take the computer to the fortress shuttle bay. You can fly out at one of their ships. We'll rendezvous in Republic space. Now go. Okay, well that's that done. 
Lovely, I'll take the experience. Uh, can I exit the area? I can. And that's one part of the achievement done. I've got the achievement here. As you don't already know, you've probably noticed it already. So, we'll go speak to Master Otek, and then we'll be done for this episode. And then in the next one, we'll do the Maelstrom Prison. In Thursday's episode, I should say. Um, back, Otek. Howdy. <sighs> Cut your escape awfully close. Grand Moff Gilran destroyed the fortress just moments after you left. We suffered heavy losses at Tural V. The Dantooine, the Sirocco, more starfighters than I care to count. But there's no time to mourn the dead. We must strike the Empire's prison before the enemy bolsters its defense. What defenses are protecting the prison? How hard will it be to crack into? The prison's location is its primary defense. Difficult to attack what you can't find. More than that, we don't know. My technicians have plugged the Gree computer into the Telos's hyperdrive. We're already calculating a safe route to Maelstrom Prison. When we arrive, I need my best people leading the raid. You're the Jedi prisoner's only hope of escaping alive. Who am I? Obi-Wan? If there's one thing I'm known for, it's daring rescues. That and impeccable timing. Snappy comebacks are a close third. Well, I do have the beard. <laughs> the spirit of youth. Hard to believe it's been 200 years since I was your age. This mission will cost more lives before it's done. But it's a necessary sacrifice. The Jedi prisoner can end this war. Save countless worlds. We'll be jumping to hyperspace soon. Head for the shuttle bays. Be ready to launch on my signal. May the Force be with you. Thank you very much. So, we are now heading into the Maelstrom prison in the next episode. We're going to do it just now. So that was kind of fun, wasn't it? Yeah, and I got a bunch of scavenging, and I gained two levels, so I wonder if I gained two levels in the Maelstrom prison as well. We shall see. Probably not, probably more, well, if I, if I do reach level 34, it'll be cutting it close. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you next time. And a farewell to you. You know, this music always brings back memories as well. I know this is like episode 1 music, but it always reminds me of playing the uh, episode 1 PS1 game for um, Star Wars. Where was I going with that?